Of all the places on Earth, there aren't many where you can easily observe the curvature of the ocean. For example, you sure can't from my house in Arizona. Maybe that's one reason most of us live in our little flat worlds. In Chile, there's a bay about a hundred kilometers long and we've usually been able to observe with a visibility of no more than 30 to 50 kilometers. So I'm going to go down to Guanaqueros in Chile and we're going to take a look across the bay from Guanaqueros and then we're going to go up here on the hill and take a look across to Coquimbo and if we're lucky we might think we see some land further north here a hundred kilometers north. Let's start by going up on the hill and taking our street view and seeing how good a visibility we can get to the due north. Let's put our red arrow due north and see what we find. That's not very good visibility but we see a mountain coming down and about the only thing I could notice was that this mountain has a little uh, flat area just before it disappears into the either the distance visibility wise or below the horizon. We can do the same thing if we just go down the road and we can search for something with a little better visibility. Turn it north and we do see the same thing and the visibility is a little better on this one. It comes down to a little rounded knob then it comes down again, flattens out a little and disappears into the distance and I don't know that we can do much better than that. I'm going to take a screenshot of that because this one's a little difficult to compare. So I'll bring up my snipping tool and take the screenshot. We'll put it up here. Now let's go down to the Cayeta de Guanaqueros and let's go just south of this bridge and look across this bay and let's turn our arrow to the north again and we have things in our way. So let's go a little further north past that uh, power pole and let's look north again. We have a little fishing gear in our way but we do see these mountains again and we can bring up our comparison shot from up on the hill and what it appears is that we now where we had it coming to the knob then going down and flattening that has now disappeared has now disappeared behind the curvature of the ocean here. Uh, that's about 20 kilometers away and I think it's pretty obvious there that we have lost that flat area behind the curvature of the ocean. It isn't easy to find good places on the earth where you can observe this well with Google Street View but I've found you this one and you can follow along easily. Please like this video and comment below if you think you found the perfect place to observe the ocean's curvature in Google Street View.